Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Nick Terrio here and today I have a new video for you guys. Today we're going to dive into Facebook's new rollout of the aggregated event measurement. This will be a pretty quick video. We're just going to kind of dive into it real quick and talk about it for you guys. Give you guys a few pointers and tips and a few things we know currently right now and things maybe you can take action on. So with that being said, make sure you hit the like button and hit that subscribe button for new videos helping empower the Shopify e-com business owner in 2021 and scale to the moon. So guys, let's get started. So Facebook just rolled out this new aggregated event measurement tool. Nothing that we're surprised about because of the, you know, all the talk with iOS 14. And I've already kind of summarized this video, but I want to dive into it and actually give you guys a few tips of, about it and maybe a little bit more information about it for you guys who don't know what's going on with it. So we do know for a fact to use this, you must verify your domain first. So if you haven't verified your domain already, you must do that ASAP. Now, what's going to happen is we're going to run through this and i'm going to show you what it does essentially is you need to assign the events that you want to use with your pixel so your purchase your add to cart your view content you need to tell the pixel which events that we want to prioritize so that way facebook makes sure they get counted so for people running e-com businesses, Shopify and stuff, you're likely going to be okay because it's already pretty set up for that. But if you're having multi, you know, things going on with your domain, you're selling e-com on that domain, you're also selling courses or other things inside of maybe click funnels, etc., you're going to have some issues. So let me explain why. So at the beginning of the month of February 2021, Facebook rolled out the new aggregated event measurements. Essentially what this is, is we're going to tell Facebook what web events we want to prioritize on iOS 14 devices. So to get to this, you simply just go to your business tools and then you're going to select your pixel. Then once you get to the pixel, you'll probably see something like click like this and then all you want to do is click on the aggregated event measurement it should be popped up by now on yours and what we want to do is hit configure web events now again you must have your domain verified first before you can do this so if you have it it'll say something like this so you want to make sure you verify your domain and then click on it and you can see right here some of the events already that facebook is prioritizing for this specific domain so let me click on edit now one issue so if you go ahead and change up these events right now all of your ads inside of your ad account will be paused for 72 hours so be sure you're aware of that before you start making any some any changes so let me click on edit and as you can see right here we have our pixel so you make sure you have your pixel selected event name and you want to make sure you you know just choose the ones you want so these are the highest priority ones specifically for ios 14 devices again this won't be affecting android from the way it's making this sound it's just going to be for the ios 14 devices so you must go ahead and what you're going to do is you're going to select your pixel and you're going to you know go ahead and you have your highest priority and lowest priority obviously your highest priority you want to be purchased your second initiate checkout add to cart view content now one thing that you're going to see right here is you're going to see that purchase is taking up four events and we can actually even go further five six seven eight now why is the question and the big answer for that is value optimization value optimization takes up four events and the reason why is because to pass enough data with facebook they must take up more events i know it's weird it doesn't really make sense to me either but essentially for the value optimization to be go pass through the pixel they take more than one event up which requires more events on your domain so right now we're seven out of eight and all we're doing is optimizing for view content at cart and shade check on purchase if i were to turn value optimization off then as you can see it goes back to one event but you lose the ability to run value optimized campaigns so that's as simple as that you want to go through all this you want to make sure you have your event setup that you want to track and again you can just raise these and move these around how you want again if you're running shopify you have your pixel set up properly you verified your domain you're likely don't need to do this but more for people who are running you know multiple different things on their domain itself so maybe you have an e-com store and also on the side you have a click funnel running with that domain as well and then you have lead capture a view sales page all that you might have more stuff going on which will cause some issues so you must get this put together again verify your domain first 
assign events that are most important to you and value optimization does take four events for purchase and you can change these eight events but it will cause ads to pause for 72 hours and let me just quickly double check real quick and show you guys what value optimization is and yes these results are not fake um, we've literally been getting capped at $22,000 a day in ad spend for this particular ad account for the last like three or four days. It's not fun at all, but let's take a look. I did set up a campaign specifically for you guys just to show y'all uh, what value optimization is. This is for more of the higher frequency stores that are getting a lot more purchases and stuff like that. If you go right here, you can see optimization for ad delivery is set to value. Essentially what a value campaign does is it goes ahead and it finds the highest priority or the highest buyers essentially that are going to purchase in the market right now. So it looks at all your highest placed orders and then it finds people like those people so it's almost like a look like audience in a way so i'm still kind of testing it i've never really did much value optimization but i do know a few people that's had some major success with this so because of that it's something that we want to make sure we're setting up on our domain so that way if we want to run it and it works well for us we can so we don't have to worry about not having the ability to due to the aggregated events so i hope this helped you guys explain everything i know it's a kind of quick video just kind of like just dropping some knowledge for you guys uh, make sure you get this all set up pr properly look at all your events and make sure that the ones that facebook has selected are the ones you want to optimize for or the ones you want to track because if it's all wrong i do have another store that's on woocommerce and it's all set up wrong so i have to go ahead and do a lot of you know work to make sure it's set up properly or we're going to be missing out on a lot of potential data back and it's going to screw up optimization so screw up reporting it's going to screw up all of that and we're going to see a negative impact on results so it's important for you to at least go take a look at this just in case facebook had a weird glitch with your ad account but 95 percent of y'all are probably okay but again just take a quick look see what's going on and then if it looks good you're good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you're an e-com business owner and you're spending over a thousand dollars a day in paid advertising and would love to hop on a call with us to go ahead and kind of navigate you through with scaling higher we've scaled multiple scores to multiple six figures per month love to hop on a call with you at least give you some advice on what you can do next to further scale your business and again if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that like button my name is nick terrio and i'll talk to you guys later peace okay no bye okay bye